Well, there has been a lot of discussion about changing the public school's uniform policy, and part of that is making sure no more students are suspended as a consequence of not wearing a uniform to school. PNC's Rizal Romanes has more in this report. Students can no longer get suspended for not wearing uniform. At least that's what Department of Education Superintendent John Fernandez wants to set straight with the school administrators after hearing complaints from parents and students, particularly those in high school, about school suspending students for not wearing uniforms or what they're calling willful disobedience. When it comes down to having kids removed from school, not being in class, not getting the instruction that we need, and not being able to make that, you know, to progress as we would expect them to, I think suspensions uh, go too far. Fernandez says he doesn't like the fact that students lose out on instructional time just because they weren't wearing their uniforms. He says the committee is currently looking at other options. We do know that um, there are opportunities to have to, to um, have those consequences take place at school. Uh, so whether it's a work detail or a parent conference or so forth, uh, that's how we think it should be handled. We want to make sure that uh, students are not being suspended uh, based on any uniform violations. Fernandez explains that the uniform policy is set and administered at the school level. His goal is to clarify the standard operating procedure. We have to always balance uh, the many things that we do in schools. I support uniforms. Uh, sometimes we know it's hard for parents to afford the uniforms or for kids to be able to uh, comply um, to the level. And so we, we, uh, we rely on our administrators to make sure they address those, those issues. Fernandez says a special committee will meet again this month, and he says hopefully they will have a solution before the next school year starts in August. Rosal Romanes, PNC News.